so here is our luggage packed up for tomorrow. I was able to get all four kids into this one piece. It's like a rolly, kind of like a carry-on size, so I'm very glad that I was able to do that. Both boys are in here together, and then this is all the girls. They basically all kind of have the same thing. Two pants, one short, because it's going to kind of be not super... Not super hot over there. Two cardigans, and they have two dresses, two short sleeve shirts, and then we'll bring like coats separately, which I'll show you. And then the top flap, I have bathing suits for each kid, some swim diapers, and then a little Ziploc baggie for the three older ones with socks and undies, one for each. And then all of my things, for the most part, are in this one bag. It's like a duffel bag, but it also has a handle that rolls. And I have a very similar amount to the kids, but I do only have one dress in there, a couple sweaters, because again, it's going to be kind of chilly, a couple long sleeve, and a couple short sleeve. These are all toiletries, which I will use in the morning, but I just wanted to make sure everything fit. And then in here are medications and sunscreens. And I always bring just a couple kids' medicines, just in case. You never know. You never want to use it or want to need it, but should you need it, you don't want to have to run out and rebuy and maybe there isn't even like a pharmacy nearby. So that's just good to have just as precaution. And then my sandals, I'm going to wear sneakers there since that's easier to wear than to pack. And then I have just a couple like food things, my cinnamon and vanilla that I like to put in my coffee and then my salt that I like to put in my salt water, my pink salt and my AG1 and the little tumbler so I can drink those in the morning, the book that I'm reading, and then my curling iron is in here. And then in the front pocket, I have like socks and undies. And then this is the outfit that I'm going to wear in the morning when we wake up, and that's what I'll wear in the car. And then I do have my flag bag here, and inside is my beach bag. So I kind of layered them together. So I have my bathing suit, cover up, you know, sun visor. We are bringing the, the sound machine for Jude just in case, you know, we need it. And a sheet. They have a pack and play there and that will be the sheet for him. And then sandals for the girls. Those are Lara's. Evie, unfortunately, we ordered new sandals for both of them from Amazon and they did not come in. They got like delayed or lost in shipping, unfortunately. So I am going to have to pick up a pair for Evie and then their goggles. And the place we're staying has towels and a lot of other beach items. So I think that will be good on that. And then these are all of our road trip snacks that we'll bring in the car. These are just some muffins I made that I'm just kind of throwing in here. And so this is all dry things. I also have some like oranges at the bottom that don't need to necessarily, you know, be in a cooler. But we will bring a little cooler bag with some cold things like, you know, cheese sticks and some other fresh fruits and things like that to have in the car. And then each of the three older kids were able to bring a backpack. And this is for, you know, books they want to read, coloring things they want to play with, basically whatever they want that they were able to put in here. And then we also were able to throw in a little lightweight jacket for each kid because, again, the weather's going to be kind of finicky. It's not going to be super hot and it may be chilly at night. So they, the girls have cardigans and Luke has a sweatshirt, but these are just an extra third layer. And then this is my husband's bag. He just packed himself and it is a backpack. So that'll make it really easy to carry that and have a free hand to maybe wheel one of the rolly bags.
made it to Nantucket. We left this morning around 6, 6.30, and now it is around, I don't know, 12? No, it's probably like 1.45, 2-ish. And we made it. We made it to our little cottage on Nantucket, and we kind of got a little bit settled. We're gonna go out now to the, a local store and pick up our car that we rented for while we're here so that we can really explore the island. Last time we came a few years ago, we didn't have a car and we were only limited to where we could walk. So this time we said we have to have a car so that we can get to the other side of the island and just really maximize our time here. We're also staying here on the island for two nights, whereas last time we were here, we just came for the day. So it is just heavenly here. I am so thrilled to be here. It's a gorgeous day today. I think it's going to be our warmest day. You can hear my voice. It's a little raspy. I have like a slight, like, I feel fine, but I have like a slight, I don't know, vocal <laughs> thing going on. Uh, but I feel fine. I feel great. And I am just thrilled to be here. So we're going to go head out to the store. So we actually wound up just bringing two bags here to Nantucket. I know I had showed what we packed and we actually wound up consolidating into only one other like rolly carry-on piece and we left that. We're going to bring that when we go to Cape Cod for the rest of the week. So we just have this one here and then the backpack. So we really tried to minimize what we brought. So we're gonna get out bathing suits and beach things and probably after the store, we're gonna go to the beach. All right, so here is our little Nantucket cottage. It's right on the water. Literally, it's right here. And there's all these little cottages. So we have Veronica. We open up these big doors and then there's this adorable little screen door. These are super old and adorable. And then it's just the cutest cottage with a little loft area. So this is where we are going to be for two and a half days. This couch pulls out to a bed and then we just kind of tucked a bunch of our stuff under the stairs, which goes up to the loft. You could say it's like a little tree house. And then we have our little dining area and a little kitchen, all our snacks that we brought coffee maker, all the necessities, little bathroom over here, and then this is for Dan and I staying in here. Super cute and cozy. Hung a few things in the closet just to kind of get them out of my luggage. And then over here, the bathroom with lots of fresh towels and L'Occitane products. They actually have a little dispenser here, which is very cool. And then heading up the loft. Super cute little double beds up here. And just the little peaked ceiling is so cute. And then a little closet here. But that is, that's basically it. Just a cute little cottage and there's a ton of them along the water. So this is, this is home for the next couple days. This is the book that I brought to read while we're on vacation. I did start it at home, and so far I really like it, Raising Grateful Kids in an Entitled World. Honestly, it's just a great reminder for myself as well. This is kind of like my relaxing at the end of the day, or like if we do quiet time in the afternoon. Not so much on vacation, but at home. And, you know, I just really love to fit it in that way. But if that's not really something that you find you have the time for to read a physical book, there is a really cool alternative. And this next minute is sponsored by Blinkist, which is an awesome app that takes titles. There's over 5,000 different titles in 27 different categories. They basically take books and condense them down and pull out the key points and puts them into 15 minute text and audio explainers, which they call blinks. And they also do it for podcasts as well, and they call them shortcasts. I have quite a few blinks on my list that I want to listen to, like this one called Happier at Home by Gretchen Rubin, Kiss More, Jump More, Abandon Self-Control, and My Other Experiments in Everyday Life. That sounded really good. And this one by Kevin Kruse, The 15 Secrets Successful People Know About Time Management. Habits of Billionaires, Olympic Athletes, Straight A Students, and Entrepreneurs. And also this one by Laura Vanderkamp. 
It's called What the Most Successful People Do Before Breakfast. That is definitely something that I have been trying to work on is really maximizing my mornings since I have four kids and, you know, I'm just kind of getting out of the baby phase. I mean, my baby's still a baby, but I really want to take advantage of those morning hours and get a lot done when the kids are still in bed. So that's a really great one to listen to. So check out my link below if you are interested, if that's something that seems interesting to you. There's a seven day free trial if you want to just kind of listen to a few and see if you like it. And then if you sign up with my link, you get 25% off of a premium membership. But like I said, we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping for some necessities and then head to the beach. So I have my beach bag packed up. As it say there, off duty. As if you ever are off duty as a parent. And they got these cute little gift bags for the kids. Like I said, it's not terribly warm today, but it's gonna be our best chance to go. So I just changed, I have my bathing suit on and a dress and sandals. Because even though it's breezy, you know, we're on the water, it's still nice and sunny. It's like not cloudy at all. So we're gonna take advantage of this day and just make the most of the sunshine. First lobster roll, get some pizza, and a sub, and we're eating it at the beach. So we'll go walk down when we're done. It's about five and we we got just kind of like a late lunch and then after the beach we got ice cream at the juice bar which was delicious. They make homemade waffle cones that are like phenomenal but we all like got dribbles of ice cream all over our clothes and this cottage doesn't have any laundry so I'm maybe just gonna like hand wash a few things and I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Our house on Cape Cod has a, a washer and dryer so whatever we'll just do what we can here. And I am not quite sure what is happening. Jude is napping and we're not really like super hungry for dinner. So we might just, we didn't wind up going to the market yet. So we'll probably do that in a little bit or maybe just Sam will go or just I will go. It's just walking distance and just pick up a few things. For an adult, I would not have gone in that water, but the kids had a blast. So I'm so glad about that. So we're just gonna kind of let Jude take a nap get all rinsed and refreshed for the evening ahead. I don't quite know what we're gonna do. Maybe we might get like some tapas kind of dinner and just eat out on our little like patio here, right on the water. We saw when we were walking back, there was a couple people doing that with like wine. So maybe that's what we'll do. So it's already like seven o'clock. I'm gonna take Jude and Lara to the little market. Dan and Luke were napping, so, I mean, we got up super early, and Dan drove the whole way. So we're gonna go walk down to the store and just get, we've been kind of like snacking, so no one's like super hungry for a meal. So we're just gonna get like some, I don't know, meats and cheeses and bread or something like that, hummus, um, I don't know, maybe just some fruit and things just to keep in the fridge. And yeah, we're probably gonna go out for breakfast tomorrow morning and then maybe be across the island in Sconset. I would love to do that tomorrow. So I don't know what tomorrow's meals look like. We may be, I don't know, we'll see. We're just gonna grab a few like staples. All right, so I got some burrata, we got some New England soppressata, and some balsamic glaze, hummus, these cherries looked really good. So I got some of those. Yogurt, some crackers, some seltzer, some popcorn if we do a movie night. I did get a salad just because I feel like I need some greens in my life today. And then a big thing of fruit. All right, so we got a little cracker, a little soppressata, a little burrata, and then the balsamic glaze put over top. Delish. So unfortunately, I just remembered that I didn't pack any face wash because I had ordered the one that I use and like on Amazon 
like a week ago, Prime, and the order got delayed and then they said that it may be lost. So I didn't wind up getting that. And in it were the two pairs of sandals for my girls. So they we just had to use something else um, that we had in the house. But I'm just gonna run back out to the store and see if I can get some face wash. Totally forgot to get it while we were there. But we're just gonna have a, a pretty chill night in, maybe do like a movie night. Luke is still napping, like the beach totally wiped him out. So I'll probably wake him up and just enjoy, you know, a family night in and get, you know, rejuvenated for tomorrow. So we pulled out the couch bed. We're gonna pile on, have a little <laughs> movie night. With so popcorn. fun with popcorn. Also. Got some boom chicka pop. I also got a map when we were there of Nantucket. And we were talking about all the places we want to go tomorrow. We are here. So we want to get all the way across, especially to Sconset. Sai Sconset over here. But I mean, honestly, I want to do the whole thing. The island is not that big. So we could really explore most of it tomorrow. Even just driving it and just like, you know, doing a beautiful scenic tour, but I'm sure we'll stop along the way. And we definitely want to get donuts. I don't know if that's on here. <laughs> We're gonna go to Downey Flake, get some donuts. Down and there was, Flake. there's the Whaling Museum. We went there last the time. Videos. But we got some DVDs at the library before we came, so we're gonna watch Into the Spider-Verse. 